They've performed alongside Robbie Williams and entertained the Queen. But now the band of the Irish Guards are approaching the end of a whistle-stop tour of Ireland. And our reporter Fiona Weir has been following their progress. It's their first tour of the province since 2001 and they've been making up for lost time. From formal military engagements to charity concerts, they're proving popular with the locals. In Lisburn, they played to a full house. And it's not just charities who are benefiting from the band's talents. They've been running masterclasses for young musicians, giving them a chance to experience a taste of life in a military band. Well, we got a, the email from uh, Bandmaster Cregan and thought it would be a terrific opportunity for our young musicians to work with some professionals and hear what a professional concert band should sound like. And uh, that sort of expertise can't really be bought. Uh, so to have it on our doorstep here was a, a delight to bring. It was a wonderful opportunity for us to, to get to play with them today. They were really, really good and uh, they put a lot of effort in and uh, they, they produced some fantastic results. When on tour, there's nothing quite like a photo call and what better place than on the famous staircase in Belfast Titanic Centre, followed by an impromptu performance in the atrium. It's been absolutely fantastic. We've done uh, two, two concerts, complete sellout concerts, uh, and I understand where, wherever we go, uh, the ticket sales have been phenomenal. So, yeah, there's been a huge appetite for the band. The band have several more engagements to fulfil here in Northern Ireland before they head south of the border. But the end of the tour will signal the end of an era for one member of the battalion. Regimental mascot Irish wolfhound Con Mel will retire after four years' service. Fiona Weir forces news with the band of the Irish Guards in Northern Ireland.